time for us to jump into part one of K-Talk with Hanu, and we will start off with uh, a survival expression, an expression you can use, uh, especially if you're at a Korean restaurant. Well, in this case, we are more specifically talking about ordering delivery on, uh-huh. on the phone. <laughs> I see. Yeah. So I was going to say, because the end of the sentence, I was more familiar with something else. So let's talk about it. When okay. you okay. order food on the phone or with your smartphone, mm-hmm. uh, you can easily basically choose mm-hmm. and and pay even online and have the food delivered. Yeah, so delivering itself has become so much easier these days yeah. with the help of apps. So uh, a lot of apps in Korea, they uh, actually advertise the fact that they don't even, people don't even have to call anybody. Mm-hmm. You know, they can just type you know, true. the address and just select some menu items and then they pay even online. And then that you don't have to talk to anybody in person. So. That's very convenient because sometimes you have to talk to the person, you have to order, mm. then you have to ask, okay, so what do you have? And then you have to give them your address. Yeah, the uh, yeah. most difficult part is actually giving the address. Especially when you're a foreigner. Yeah, and my uh, house uh, address has a certain word that can be actually uh, understood as something else. So uh-huh. I have to always explain, oh, that's not not that letter, but this letter. <laughs> that's even to a native Korean speaker. <laughs> it's complicated. It's, it's a lot of work. It's uh-huh. a hassle. So these days it is easy, but one part that cannot be omitted is when the order is not here yet. When the food doesn't arrive. Even after 40 minutes. The food doesn't come. What do to, you do? You have to call. You have to call. And, and say this. <laughs> 아까 음식 주문했는데 아직 안 왔어요. 가고 있어요. <laughs> they always say that. 가고 있어요. It's it's on the way. Or they <laughs> It will arrive. Uh, there's actually a more common phrase that most restaurant owners actually use. What do they say? 출발했어요. 출발했어요. <laughs> <laughs> 출발했어요. Yeah, they are not in the restaurant anymore. They just yeah. left. The the delivery man left. Mm-hmm. 출발했어요. With the food, of course. Yeah, so in my head, I imagine like the delivery person is still in the restaurant. They were pretty, maybe they're still you know, preparing the food. Yeah, ani, ani, too busy. <laughs> but then the person who picks up the phone, they actually give you a little pause, you know, because they have to make sure that you think they're checking. Yeah, and then they they go like, uh, uh, 출발했어요. But uh, 출발했어요. I usually don't believe. Them. Yeah, you don't believe. Them, no. <laughs> So, uh, so in that case, yeah, when you want to complain or when you want to tell them that the food is not here, once again, what do you say? 아까 음식 주문했는데 아직 안 왔어요. Okay, so you call them. The person is going to say 여보세요, and then you say uh, your who who from this address. Mm-hmm. 아까 음식 주문했는데 아직 안 왔어요. Yeah, or if you want to make it a little shorter, you can just take out the part 음식 because obvious, uh-huh. you know, obviously you ordered. Food. So, so 아까, 아까 주문했는데? Yeah, 주문했는데 아직 안 왔어요. 아직 안 왔어요. Yeah. 어디 it, 있어요? <laughs> Where is it? Where is my food? Yeah. 빨리 it, 주세요. <laughs> if you want to be even more specific, uh, 한 시간 전에 주문했는데. Mm, you can give them the time. Yeah, one 30 hour ago. Yeah. 30 minutes ago, I mm-hmm. ordered and it's not here. Yeah. 한 시간 전에. 한 시간, that's a bit long. Usually, they, it's not over 30, 40 minutes, right? Yeah, but... Um, Except maybe very popular restaurants. Instant foods, like Chinese foods in Korea, they come in about 15 minutes. So it's super fast. Like instant food, like what? Like a... Jajangmyeon. Oh, okay. Like Korean Chinese like food. Mm-hmm. Jajangmyeon. Kimbap. Uh, Those come really, really quickly because they don't take a lot of time to make or okay. all the ingredients are like ready there. Yeah. But um, sometimes when, for example, tomorrow, I think since the match will happen at 6 p.m. in Korean time. The the football final? Yeah, and 7 yeah. p.m. in Australian time. I think um, a lot of people will be watching and ordering food on, I mean, online or on the phone. Probably, yeah. And it will take two hours Uh-oh. before a box of chicken arrives. <laughs> so tomorrow, maybe the best thing is that you prepare food in advance. Yeah, uh, or just cook at home. <laughs> or just cook at home, yeah. <laughs> or just buy something on the way home. But if you order something at 5 p.m., cons- uh-uh. you know, consider it uh, you know, yeah. expected delay. And even the people working in the restaurants are going to be watching the game too. Yeah, they have to. No know? time to cook. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes during World Cup events, the delivery people, they yeah. actually check the results while they stop by the houses that they're delivering oh, the food they, to. So what's the score? Yeah, yeah. So what's the score? <laughs> We've had a couple of people do that <laughs> before. How do you ask what's the score? 
지금 몇대 몇이에요? 몇대 몇이에요? Like 몇대 What to what? What you know? to what? What yeah. score to what score? Yeah, basically. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Okay, so remember this expression. If you're here in Korea all by yourself, and maybe you're ordering Korean food, and you want to tell the guy at the restaurant that your food is not here yet. I ordered a while ago, but it's not here yet. It hasn't come yet. 아까 음식 주문했는데 아직 안 왔어요. 아직 안 왔어요. 안 왔어요. 아직 means yet, right? Not yet. Mm, not 아직. yet. And 안 왔어요. It hasn't come. And they will usually say to you, 출발했어요. Okay. <laughs> the and, person left. And so what do you say then? 거짓말. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Liar. <laughs> you can ask, like, no, I'm joking. 언제 출발했어요? But uh-huh. nobody actually says 거짓말. Mm, of course. Yeah. Okay, well, uh, that's the the expression we had prepared for you today, this week. But you can also ask us if you want to learn how to say something mm-hmm. in Korean. We can help you in part four. Send us your messages, arirangradio.com slash catch the wave. When we come back, part two, we will talk about a song. That's right. And what are we going to do exactly? We're going to read uh, some of the lines in the lyrics yep. and then have you guess the Korean title of that song. Yeah, you have to give us the Korean title and you might win a book sponsored to us by Talk to me in korean.com so good luck to you this is princess 91 requesting a song winner smile again <laughs> 행복하세요 행복할 때까지 what does that mean <laughs> until you are happy until you're happy 행복하세요 here in korea i often hear uh, people say 행복하세요 고객님 행복하세요. I think it's usually service people yeah. um, saying to their possible customers. And what does it mean, 행복하세요? Be happy. Be happy. Be um, happy. Um, Sometimes you pick up the phone and they're like, ah, 고객님 사랑합니다. <laughs> <laughs> Customer, I love you. I love you. <laughs> like, no, you don't love me. <laughs> it's Funny. a bit, yeah, a bit overwhelming sometimes yeah <laughs> welcome back everyone uh, you're listening to arirang radio catch the wave continues we have hyunu sanseng nim and we're trying to help you learn maybe some words some expressions uh we're talking about korean language hangugo mm-hmm. if you have any curiosities something you don't understand or something you would like us to help you with you can use the message board um we're not going to be jumping into our k-pop quiz mm-hmm. We're going to be talking about a song by Gina, Mm -hmm. the singer Gina, the female singer Gina. Uh, This song is featuring his song, and we're going to introduce the lyrics, and we want you to guess the title, the Korean title of this song. It's been the case with, uh, I guess, some songs that we introduced uh, in the previous weeks, but the title is usually within the sentences that we (laughs) we read, right? So listen carefully. Yeah, so Mm. (laughs) you will hear the title passing by. Uh Uh-oh. So let me start by uh, reading the first line. Yeah. 안녕하세요. 처음 뵙겠습니다. 생각보다 너무 예쁘세요. 말씀 많이 들었어요. 좋은 사람 요즘 찾는다고. That's the mm-hmm. first paragraph and the second paragraph. 반가워요. 처음 뵙겠습니다. 생각보다 너무 멋지네요. 저도 얘기 들었어요. 외로움 타신다고. <laughs> so it's a conversation. <laughs> okay, so what is the title, the Korean title of this song by Gina? Mm-hmm. Let's um, go into the lyrics a bit further here. 안녕하세요. 처음 뵙겠습니다. It means, hello, how do you do? That's something... Beginners can learn. Yeah, I mean, this conversation itself seems to be straight out of a textbook, you know? <laughs> yeah, it's true. It, it's straightforward and, and yeah, I guess basic in a way if you have some Korean uh, elements here. Yeah, yeah. If you know some of, uh, uh, if you know a little bit about Korean language. Mm-hmm. So, 안녕하세요. 처음 뵙겠습니다. Nice to meet you. And then? And then, 생각보다 너무 예쁘세요. 생각보다 means more than I thought. Mm-hmm. And 너무 예쁘세요 means you are so pretty. So, 너무 예뻐. 너무, yeah. 너무 예쁘다. Mm-hmm. 너무 is to emphasize. Mm-hmm. And then 예쁘다 is... To be pretty. Pretty. Yeah, so I... Uh, you, you're you th- more pretty th- yeah, than I thought, basically. Yeah, maybe somebody told this person about this other girl, yeah. and then you had some <gasps> expectations, but then wow. she's prettier than that. Mm-hmm. And then she or he mm-hmm. goes, 말씀 많이 들었어요. I've heard a lot about you. 좋은 사람 요즘 찾는다고. 
좋은 사람 means a good person. Good person, nice, 좋은 사람. Yeah, nice person. 요즘, recently, these days, mm-hmm. 찾는다고. I heard you were looking for a nice person yeah. these days. Uh, when sometimes people introduce each other, mm. uh, and when you meet someone for the first time, sometimes they say, Ah, 말씀 많이 들었어요. Yeah, 말씀 많이 들었어요. I've heard a lot about you. Even if you haven't actually heard a lot about yeah. this person. Yeah, ah, <laughs> 말씀... Yeah, and then you can ask like, okay, what do you know exactly about 아, 좋은 me? 얘기? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, okay, and then 좋은 사람 요즘 mm-hmm. uh, 찾는다고. 좋은 사람. 좋은, 좋은 means good, right? 좋다. Good. But in this case, it's not just a nice person, nice kind person, but somebody that would uh, be a good match to you. Mm. 좋은 사람. 좋은 사람. Yeah, a good date. A good date. Someone that would maybe fit. Uh, your personality. Mm-hmm. 좋은 사람. Sometimes people also say goodbye by saying 좋은 하루. 좋은 하루. 좋은 하루. 좋은 하루 보내세요. Yeah, have a good day. Yeah, 하루 mm-hmm. is day. So 좋은 하루 is good day. Mm-hmm. And then we can uh, maybe move on to the second paragraph. Once again, we're looking for the Korean title of this song by Gina. Mm-hmm. 반가워요. 처음 뵙겠습니다. 반가워요 means... Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. 처음 뵙겠습니다 is how do you do. It's basically a greeting that you can say when you meet someone yeah. for the first time. Mm-hmm. 생각보다 너무 멋지네요. So you can guess that this is the girl's part. Yeah. 생각보다 uh, more than I thought. 너무 멋지네요. You are so cool. Yeah, 멋지네요. Mm-hmm. You're so... Uh, 멋지다, 멋지다. It, it, can it mean handsome? Handsome, good looking, um, awesome. Yeah, awesome. <laughs> so many things. Attractive. Yeah, attractive. Uh, f- mm. But usually for guys, if you say that a girl is machida, it's not about uh, the, the looks. Uh, looks. It's no. about like the personality or the things that she has achieved. Yeah. And 저도 얘기 들었어요. I also have heard about you. Mm-hmm. And 외로움 타신다고. Uh, I heard that you are lonely these days. Mm. 외로워. Mm-hmm. 외롭다 is to be lonely. 외롭다, to be lonely. Mm-hmm. And here, in this case, 외로움 is just a noun form. So, loneliness. Yeah. And 외로움 타다 means to feel the loneliness. Uh-huh. Interesting. So, the first paragraph is uh, the part uh, the guy sings. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then the second part is the part Gina sings mm-hmm. in this song. Yeah. 안녕하세요. 처음 뵙겠습니다. 생각보다 너무 예쁘세요. You're more pretty than I thought. 말씀 많이 들었어요. 좋은 사람 요즘 찾는다고. And then the girl says, 반가워요. 처음 뵙겠습니다. 생각보다 너무 멋지네요. 저도 얘기 들었어요. <웃음> 외로움 타신다고. <웃음> okay, well, there is a, a part that we both repeated, that mm-hmm. we both introduced here. Yeah. And that's probably the title we are looking for. Once again, a song by Gina featuring Hui Song. We're going to be uh, playing it, so that's going to uh, help you, I guess. If you have the answer, please send us a message on the message board, and you might be the winner. What are they going to uh, win? You're going to get a book from Talk To Me In Korean. Okay. Mm-hmm. We'll be back in a few moments with your audio clips, and you can also send us your questions. Stick around. This is Gina with Hui Song. The English title, I'll help you a bit more. Nice to meet you. Yes, welcome back, everyone. 안녕하세요. If you're just turning on the radio, uh, Hyunwoo 선생님 is here from TalkToMeInKorean.com. Hyunwoo, how are you? 안녕하세요. I'm doing fine. 처음 뵙겠습니다. No, you no. are not seeing me for the first time. Probably not, right? <laughs> um, but that was a little hint for you. <laughs> and we're now going to jump into our, um, I guess, third part. And we want to hear from you. We would like to listen to your voices. I know some of you are starting to learn Korean. Maybe some of you are more advanced. It doesn't really matter uh, which level you're at. Mm-hmm. Uh, we can help you correct maybe your pronunciation or your grammar or just your fluidity in general. Mm-hmm. Uh, so this time around, we, we have a message by Sukena from Morocco. She says, hello again. Uh, this is my third time sending the recording, lol. <laughs> <laughs> she's persevered. And uh, yeah, she's very passionate. She says, I'm going to send my recording until I win the book. <laughs> and I really, really, really want it because I want to improve my Korean and uh, study more. I'm listening to Catch the Wave on Fridays and hoping someday I will hear my recording. Wow. So this 
This is your day. So this is your special day. So please pick me, Adrian Oppa and Hyunu Oppa. Thank you. Very 감사. <laughs> Some people say that. Thank yeah. you, very 감사. Thank you, or thank you, very 감사. Thank you, very 감사. <laughs> very 감사 is Konglish, okay? It's a mix. Very thank you. Uh, yeah. It doesn't really work, but you know, people use it sometimes <laughs> for fun. The reason that people say thank you, uh, by the way, is because they feel shy. It's just saying the native expression, native language expression, 감사합니다 or 감사합니다. 고마워 to a friend. So they just say uh, an English expression. Thank you. That's right. Okay, let's listen to her message and then we will try to give her some advice. 안녕하세요. 저는 스물하나 살 소개나입니다. 처음 보겠습니다, 여러분. 저는 모로코 사람입니다. 그리고 대학생이에요. 저는 한국을 사랑해요. 그래서 차게 이길 수 바랍니다. 아리랑 그레디어 워크 아트 웨이브 감사합니다. 안녕. Oh, that was uh, that was like a lightning, you know? Yeah. Do, 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 and done. Uh, wow. But full she, of energy. Yeah, she's really full of energy, very yeah. energetic, upbeat. Uh-huh. I really like that. <laughs> yeah, because tone. when you practice a new language, there can be two tones that you can practice it at. That you can like, like whisper mm-hmm. and you can shout. And she was shouting, and yeah. that's more difficult. So, good 안녕하세요. job. Yeah. <laughs> 안녕하세요. 안녕하세요. 저는, so her name is Sukena. Mm-hmm. And the way she introduced herself, this is a, a classic phrase, right? For beginners. Yes. Uh, 저는, so um, Korean numbers are a bit tricky, but once you uh, actually like practice the basics, uh-huh. the first thing you want to remember is your age in Korean age. Yeah. And 스물하나 is her age, mm-hmm. I guess, apparently. So 스물하나 means 21. Yeah. And... Although she got it right, uh-huh. she added a hmm, unnecessary word, 스물하나 살. She ah, said that uh, right, before, yeah, right before her name. So in this case, in particular, you can say 스물하나 sukena imida is fine. Uh-huh. Or 스물한 살. Yeah, that's more common, I guess. 스물한 살 누구누구 입니다. Both are okay. Yeah, 스물하나 sukena imida, 스물한 살. But uh-huh. if you don't say your name, you can say 스물한 살 more commonly. I That's guess. right. Yeah. Or you can just take out the age. If you don't want to share your age, if it's private, mm-hmm. uh, you can just say 안녕하세요, 저는 아드리안입니다. Mm-hmm. 안녕하세요, 저는 현우입니다. Yeah. But usually when you are the younger one, you, you know, it's there's no harm in uh, relieving, I mean, revealing your yeah. uh, age. So 스물, instead of 스물한 살, I would advise 스물한 or 스물한 살. Mm-hmm. And then... She says, 처음 보겠습니다, 여러분. Ah, that's wrong. Yeah, slightly uh, different from the correct expression. I mean, the grammar is is correct, but we mm. don't we don't usually use this expression, right? That's a good point. The grammar is perfect. 처음 uh-huh. 보겠습니다. 처음 보겠습니다. <laughs> but when you actually say it, you use a slightly different expression. Instead of 보다, you use uh, 뵙다. It's more honorific. Mm-hmm. Uh, 처음 so, 뵙겠습니다. Mm-hmm, 처음 뵙겠습니다. Okay. So, 처음 뵙겠습니다, 여러분. 저는 모로코 사람입니다. Mm-hmm. I am from Morocco. 그리고 대학생이에요. 저는 uh, I'm a university student. So, a lot of people can actually learn also this model phrase. Mm-hmm. 저는, and then you put the name of your country. Yep. 저는 프랑스 사람입니다. 사람. And that means I'm a French person. Mm-hmm. 저는 한국. 사람입니다. Yes. That means I'm Korean. Mm-hmm. 그리고, 그, what does 그리고 mean? And. And 대학생. 대학생 is a university student. 대, because 대학교 is, is university, right? Yeah, 학교 is school. 대 means big. So, and 학생 yeah. is just student. So yeah, 대학생. So, 대학생이에요. I'm a university student. And she continues. 저는 한국을 사랑해요. Mm-hmm. I love Korea. Well, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> You're not the only one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then? And then I think she says, 그래서 책을 이길 수 있기를 바랍니다. Ah, she wants to win the book. Yeah, but I, I have to listen to it again to, to be sure. I'll, uh-huh. I'll listen to it later on. And then, 아리랑 라디오와 Catch the Wave. 사랑, 아, 감사합니다. 감사합니다. Thank you to 아리랑 라디오 and Catch the Wave. 안녕. And, yeah, and she finishes it she off. says goodbye. Let's listen to it once again. This is a message by Sukena in Morocco. 안녕하세요. 저는 스물하나 살 소개나입니다. 처음 보겠습니다, 여러분. 저는 모로코 사람입니다. 그리고 대학생이에요. 저는 한국을 사랑해요. 그래서 차게 이길 수 바랍니다. 아리랑 그레디어 워크 아트 웨이브 감사합니다. 안녕. There you go. 
Very, yeah. very speedy. Mm. She's very confident in mm-hmm. her voice. Yeah, about the tiger part, I'm not entirely sure. It like in the second time, it sounded like salge. There's no. I, she says she talked about the book. Uh, That's what okay. I heard. Okay. She says, uh, "뭐 이길 수, 뭐 mm. 있으면 좋겠습니다." Or she wants to win the book. Yeah. basically. Check is mm-hmm. book, right? Check. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, congratulations. Good job. We will uh, be sending you the book. <laughs> <laughs> it's your lucky day today. Yeah. I hope you're jumping up in the air. You have to leave us your address and contact info on winner information. Check out our homepage. And you listeners, you can do the same. You can talk slowly. You can sing. You can read. Uh, even if you're not uh, very advanced, that's fine. Yeah. And Sukena, congratulations. Uh, we will send you a book. So yep. I, we want you to study even harder and send us a recording in a few months in an Again. upgraded version. Sure. Mm. That's a good idea. Mm. We'll play some music if you have any questions regarding Korea, Korean language, of course, and Korean culture. Send the questions in. Use the message board. Tongbang Shingi TVXQ something. <laughs> That's right. He got that something. She got that something. Maybe you got that something. <laughs> we got that something. Thank you very much for joining us. This is Catch the Wave on Arirang Radio, Part 4, K Talk with Hyunu from TalkToMeInKorean.com. Uh, we will now try to answer some of your questions, your curiosities. Let's start with Korean language first. Um, maybe this one. Hi, could you please tell me the difference between Agi, Ai, and Yua? Okay, so I have homework, but I'm confused. <laughs> <laughs> These are words that will come up when you look up the word baby. Baby. In a dictionary. Agi, ai, yua. Yeah, so yua is definitely the most formal expression. Yeah. And basically, agi is babies in general. Mm. And ai is children in general. Mm-hmm. So ai can be a baby, but agi cannot be a child because agi is... A little, you know, younger than yeah. I in general. So I can be from like birth to maybe ten years old, yeah, or even younger, or older, I guess. Older than that, you think? Like I, I would say zero to twelve. Twelve, yeah. And you would, but I, I think that that kid who's maybe 10, 11, or twelve, he's going to be very angry <laughs> if you call him Agia. Oh, I mean, or I, Aya. I, yeah. <laughs> Aya. Yeah. So uh, above that, I would say Orini okay. and then Hakseng. Okay. But yeah, that's, that's the general uh, idea. And Agi is usually like babies. Baby, baby, baby. And Yua, this is tricky because Yua is usually referred to babies in the Yua uh, Ki, Yua period, mm-hmm. which refers to one year to maybe three years. Okay. So babies who are about to walk. Okay. And who are walking around uh-huh. little by little they are you are you are mm. you are is infant maybe yeah or it's even younger than that yeah i don't know it's hard right yeah so you are Agi, usually Yua. yeah one to three years if you look in the dictionary they don't tell you from which age to which age mm-hmm. uh, it's just you know a general expression so agi is for baby babies mm-hmm. but sometimes they also say eggy eggy instead yeah. of agi they say eggy Eggy is definitely cuter than agi, and eggy is also used among couples between yeah. you know couples to you, refer to each other. You call your partner mm-hmm. eggy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. That's a good question, actually. Mm-hmm. Very good. And Next. I have a very interesting question right here. Uh-huh. Um, Natherin from Malaysia asked. Yeah. Uh, 안녕하세요, 현우 선생님 and DJ Adrian. Mm-hmm. What is the difference between the endings with yo and da or ga? Mm-hmm. Aren't both formal language, Tundemal? Because when I watched the Real Man program, yeah, it's a show where uh, people go to celebrities go to um, army uh, yeah. units. It's called Real they, Men. Yeah, they experience the military life. Mm-hmm. The military army said that the endings with yo is prohibited. Can you please explain this? Ah, mm-hmm. yeah, in the army they're pretty strict. Yeah, so yo is a little more soft. Then nida, uh-huh. so yo is prohibited, strictly prohibited. So when I did my military service, I had to actually get used to this too. Like on the first day, yeah. So instead of saying ani ayo, you have to say anim nida, anim nida. Yeah, and instead of saying ne majayo, you can say you have to say ne masmida. So it sounds very strict because everything w- ends with nida or mm. da. Yeah. So ne masmida. 
Mm-hmm. Animiza. Yeah. <laughs> so that's uh, <laughs> very like most formal. And then uh, instead of saying "kureyo," you can say "kurosumnika," mm-hmm. stuff like that. Okay. So good that, question. That's the difference. Nita is more formal than yo. So that's why military people they use nida only. Okay. Um, yeah, we had some uh, other people. This time, a general question, not about language, but just about Korea. How safe is it for a girl to work, walk by herself at night in this country? I would say very safe uh, in general, but um, I don't know. It really depends on the person and depends on where you go. Mm-hmm. If it's a well-lit area and where many people hang out, near my house, actually, um, at 3 a.m., 4 a.m., people walk around all the time. But uh, in other areas, I don't know. Yeah. Okay. But I would say it's generally very safe. It's, yeah, very, very safe. Uh, I would say I also see a lot of people walking around, uh, mm. girls especially taking the subway. Mm-hmm. Uh, and everywhere around Seoul, it's usually pretty safe. Mm-hmm. Uh, so you don't have to worry too much. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, I mean, uh, many cities around the world will have some stories, like scary stories that you know about what happened before. But then mm. when I actually go there, I usually find that it's not necessarily always true yeah so you know okay yeah don't worry too much uh stay safe and you know just stick with stay with friends that that can get you can protect each other with yes okay well running out of time here time flies uh, by too quickly uh the lucky winner for our k-pop quiz uh, this time is from uh, jordan it's majd salah majd salah congratulations the answer was chom pepkesimida which means Nice to meet you, or how do you do? Nice to meet you. Chao and that was a song by Gina. So you will be receiving a book sponsored to us by uh, TalkToMeInKorean.com. Leave us your address, contact info on our homepage, and we'll get back to you. Uh, we also had some uh, people talking about that meeting, because next week on Wednesday, mm-hmm. we're going to be outside of the studio. That's right. Uh, we will be recording a fun edition of Catch the Wave with Hyunwoo Sun sang at the coffee shop called You Are Here in Hongdae. That's right. So we hope to see yeah. many of you there. Sure. <laughs> and we will stream it live so you can also follow it on uh, online. Yeah, it's going to start at around 1 p.m. Mm-hmm. So be there early, everybody. That's right. We will also film ourselves and upload the video on YouTube or give you a link. So don't worry if you miss it. Mm-hmm. Hyunwoo, thank you very much. Thank you so much. And we'll see you next week uh, on Wednesday. Yeah, see you. A- and Friday. <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, Hong Dae Gwang. I feel you.